Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another bedtime story. I hope everyone is all stretched out and ready for bed. Oh, got jammies on? Got your teeth on? Brush, 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 brush your teeth. You got your your water drunken and your bathroom gone to and your people in your family hugged and kissed goodnight. And you got a bedtime. Well, I'm I'm reading you a bedtime story. And when you go to sleep, are you going to bother anybody? While you're asleep, how do you bother somebody by your sleep? Have you ever slept near a noisy sleeper? It happens sometimes. I've got a book about one such sleeper tonight. What's he going to do? Everybody needs to sleep somewhere. Stop snoring, Bernard. This is by Zachariah O'Hora. Zach O'Hora came to our library a few years ago. If you're older, you might have remembered. You might have come to visit him here. It, it, it may, maybe even if you're younger, I don't know. He, he came to visit us a few years, a few years ago to, to help uh, kick off his, his new book at the time, My Cousin Momo. Um, which, uh, which is about uh, a cousin who's a little bit different, but you get to know him and he's a little bit fun too. According to the back of this book, though, this was Zach O'Hor's very first picture book. And since he wrote this book, he's written a whole lot more. You should come to the library and check it out, including, including the one about the monster in the library. That's a good one. But we're talking about bedtime. And we're talking about Bernard's bedtime. Stop snoring, Bernard. Do you think he can? There's a nice picture of the zoo. And there is the otter area. Bernard loved living in the zoo. He loved mealtime, playtime, best of all, nap time. There he is. Where is he? There's a whole lot of arms there. There was one problem. Bernard snored loudly. It's hard to do a snore. <laughs> One afternoon at nap time, Grumpy Giles, see him? Does he look pretty grumpy to you? Grumpy Giles had had enough. Snore somewhere else, Bernard, he said. Bernard tried sleeping in a lake, but that didn't work. Snore! Why do you think it didn't work? Stop snoring, Bernard! Who was that? The alligators. The alligators did not want to sleep with Bernard snoring either. He tried sleeping in a, a fountain. Does that look very comfortable? That didn't work either. Snore! Oh. He was flying away. Oh. Stop snoring, Bernard! It was the giraffes he was annoying. They're, they're just standing nearby. I wonder if the fish are annoyed. He even tried sleeping in a puddle. Snore! But that really didn't work. Who's standing here? Stop snoring, Bernard! The elephant squirted water on his head. Which probably felt good for a poor otter who's stuck in a puddle. Bernard was sad. 
and lonely. He found a tucked away place, curled up by himself, and drifted off to sleep. Snore, snore, snore. The other otters missed Bernard. They searched for him all through the night. Bernard! Bernard! Bernard? Where did he go? The next morning, Bernard woke up and saw hundreds of bats on the ceiling. Uh, excuse me, he said. How did you sleep with all my snoring? We didn't, replied a bat. We were out all night, but now we're trying to sleep. So please don't snore here. It was good for the night, but not anymore. Bernard felt terrible. There wasn't any place he could sleep without bothering somebody. He trudged toward the zoo gate, but then he heard something. I think he heard. It was the other otters. Look, they all came they all came in the buggy to find him. We couldn't sleep without you, said Grumpy Giles. Grumpy Giles himself, the one who said he was too noisy. Oh, I'm sorry, I yelled. Please come back. And from that day on. Everyone napped happily. Well, almost everyone. Good night, Bernard. I have a question for you. Do you think Grumpy Giles would be happy even if Bernard didn't snore? I mean, his name is Grumpy Giles. Maybe, maybe he's just grumpy. Maybe you can't please everybody. Maybe you just got to find a cuddly place to sleep with your best stuffed buddies. Curl up and snore. Good night.